Sheriff Liston Truesdale is wondering who's chewing up these cars. And then shortly after all these reports of the seven-foot-tall creature, a 17-year-old boy comes into the police station with his father and tells a gripping tale about a lizard man. And I have a uh, little reenactment that was uh, of, of this boy telling the story right here. Oh, oh, how sweet. On June 30th, 1988... Chris Davis was on the late shift at a fast food burger joint on the edge of town. He finished up around 2 a.m., got into his car, and headed home. He was coming home from work and had a flat tire. And he stopped by a little dirt road to fix his flat tire. That little dirt road was at the skateboard swamp, stuck in the middle of nowhere without a soul for miles. Davis would have to fix the flat or spend the night. And he fixed his flat tire and was placing the tools back in the car. He saw something which he described as a tall creature about seven feet tall with big red eyes. He looks up and he sees something coming down through the tall grass. Of course, this kid is panicked. He takes off. You could see his hand hanging by the window, and he saw it. It had three fingers. It had long claws that he described having black fingernails. Davis swerved wildly, trying to shake the monster from his car. <laughs> The nightmare was over. Or so he thought. It got up and started chasing him. He estimated that the thing was running at least 35 miles an hour as he sped off, and he could see it in the rearview mirror until it disappeared into the darkness. So this guy was, was changing his tire by the skateboard swamp, and all of a sudden the lizard man comes at him. And he jumps into his car, and the lizard man jumps on his roof, starts scraping <laughs> it, things up, chewing on the chrome, and then he stops the car short. The lizard man flies off. He drives away. The lizard man chases him at 30 miles an hour. This man is named uh, Christopher, uh, what? Christopher Davis, okay? After the attack, Chris came home at 2 o'clock in the morning with his car all busted all up. fucked up. And he tells his parents about the lizard man. Now, I mean, I know, I know what people are thinking. Like they're like, oh, what kind of kid? A kid comes home with a busted car at two o'clock so in the morning. He makes his up parents a story. are like, his parents are like, why is the car all messed up and why are your eyes all red? And he's like, well, a lizard man attacked me. Right. Look, don't go down that path. It definitely was not a kid trying to save face because he smashed up his car after working at McDonald's. It's 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 a Something lizard man. Something happened to this kid. It's a lizard man. They take the man to Sheriff Truzel. He tells the story. He took a polygraph test. I know. Turns out the kid was telling the truth on the polygraph test. Whoa. And he even uh, drew a picture of the lizard man, which is this outline drawing, which uh, I'm going to post this on the website, but the drawing (laughs) looks like, it kind of looks like what a four-year-old would draw. How old is this kid? This is a 17-year-old I mean, kid. This is... He oh goes man. to the police. On, the cops had to be like, that's useless. What this are we going to do with this? The cop took this seriously. Why, but this drawing is atrocious. It, what's so bad about the the, the drawing? The it's drawing good. The drawing looks like I could have made that... I mean, kids... That looks like an 11-year-old, an 8-year-old drawing. It's the it, looks best. Like a, it looks like a wash tar to Look, me. This kid, nobody said... This kid never claimed to be an expert artist. Well, he's not. He, just yeah, he to, definitely is not. He sees a lizard man in the middle of the night. He's not going to have much detail there. Look at that. He's got the three fingers. That doesn't look like something that it could attack your car. <laughs> that doesn't look like something that could e- rip a hole out it's of your got car. No, it's also got no feet. Also, it's just, where are the black nails? Yeah, so no like, feet. No feet, no nose. But it's it's it, it's the best he could do. Sheriff Truesdale takes this picture. <laughs> like he signed it. He, oh he signed it, gosh. Christopher Davis. <laughs> he wanted people to know that this was his handiwork. Oh man! He, he takes. He always wants to be. He needs to take credit for this. I mean, he tr- he's telling the truth. What happened to this kid? Sheriff Truesdale folds up this image and he keeps it in his front pocket. 
Just in case he spots the lizard man, he takes it out and looks at it and makes sure that it matches. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, is that the I lizard man? That. Is that the is lizard that the, man? Oh, let's no, see. Now. Let me see here. No, let's that's see. a Sasquatch. Nah, he's Keep got, it moving. No, this he's guy got has four foot to- torso there and no feet. No, no. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, that can't be the lizard man. This mm, thing I'm looking at has feet. shaped like a lemon. And uh, nope, that could be it. Side note in 2009, Chris was murdered. What? Oh. That's not <laughs> true. That's, yes, it is. That's true. Christopher Davis was murdered. So we've been sitting here Jeez, making so all, fun of the only this thing we have to re- remember this kid by is this drawing. And I've been ripping a hole in it. Yeah, well, he's a bad illustrator. Just because he got murdered doesn't change the he fact. He got murdered. Doesn't change the fact that the kid can't draw for shit. I well, would this. never insult his art. He was murdered at his home in a drug-related incident. He was 37 years old. Oh, great. 20 years later. Yeah, 20 years later. Of course he was doing drugs. No one believed... I mean, he yeah, saw the lizard, lizard man. Yeah, for life. Okay, so uh, after this... Jesus after the Holy balls. <laughs>